All right, so in this equation, I have x to the power of 4 plus x squared is equal to 20. So to solve this, what I'm going to do is first start by subtracting 20 on both sides so we can have all our terms on one side. So I get x to the power of 4 plus x squared minus 20 is equal to 0. Now this may seem like a quadratic equation, but it's not because we have the power of 4 as our primary term, and then that's led by the power of 2. And in a normal quadratic equation, we have 2 as our primary, then we just have 1, and then we have some constant c. So how are we going to solve this? Well, we can't use the, we can't factor this out by using the quadratic formula because this is not a quadratic equation. So to solve this, what I want to do is rewrite this as x to the power of 4 plus x squared minus 16 plus 4. So I rewrote, rewrote 20 as 16 plus 4. And the reason I did this is because negative 16 is the same thing as negative 2 to the power of 4. And negative 4 is the same thing as negative 2 squared. So now notice how I have something in the power of 4 and something in the power of 2. And they're both the same. Now I can put the powers of 4s together and the powers of 2 together. So I get x to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 4 plus x squared minus 2 squared is equal to 0. Now, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, and 16 is the same thing as 4 squared as well. So I get x to the power of 4 minus 4 squared, and I have this plus x squared minus 2 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 4 is the same thing as x to the power of 2 times 2, which is equal to x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. So now I get x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2 plus x squared minus 2 squared is equal to 0. Now notice how everything is in the power of 2. Mm -hmm. And if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So we're going to use this property on these two groups. So I first get x squared plus 4 times x squared minus 4 plus x plus 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now we can use this property again on x squared minus 4 by rewriting as x squared minus 2 squared. So that's going to equal x plus 2 times x minus 2. And I have this plus x plus 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to factor out x minus 2, so I get x minus 2 times x squared plus 4 times x plus 2 plus x plus 2, which is equal to 0. And notice how we can also factor out x plus 2 as well. So actually at the start, what we could have done is just factored x squared minus 4 out. But now we're going to factor out x squared x plus 2 as well. So I get x plus 2 times x minus 2 times x squared plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 0. So x plus 2 times x minus 2, like I said, was x squared minus 4. And I have this times x squared plus 4 plus 1, which is x squared plus 5. Now this is equal to 0. Now this gives me two equations. I get x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. And I get x squared plus 5 is equal to 0. So for x squared minus 4 equals 0, I can add 4 on both sides. So I get x squared is equal to 4. And this is equal to positive or negative 2. And for x squared plus 5 is equal to 0. I get x squared is equal to negative 5. And I get x is equal to positive negative square root of negative 5, 
which is equal to positive or negative square root of 5i. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of y is equal to 7. So I want to find the values of x and y. So for my solution, if I have something in the form 2 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of y equals 7, I'm going to rewrite 7 as 4 plus 3. So now I have 2 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of y is equal to 4 plus 3. And the reason I did this was because 4 is the same thing as 2 squared. So now I get 2 squared plus 3. And notice how I have something in the form 2 to the power of number minus 3 to the power of number is equal to 2 to the power of number, and I also have 3 to the power of 1. Now from here, I'm going to group the powers of 2 together and group the powers of 3 together. So I'm going to subtract 2 squared on both sides. So I get 2 to the power of x minus 2 squared minus 3 to the power of y is equal to 3. And then I'm going to add 3 to the power of y on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I get 2 to the power of x minus 2 squared is equal to 3 to the power of y plus 3. Now for my left hand side I'm going to factor out 2 squared. So actually instead I should say I'm going to divide by 2 squared. So 2 to the power of x divided by 2 squared is equal to well, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So that's the same thing as 2 to the power of x minus 2. And then I have this minus 2 squared divided by 2 squared is 1. And now this is equal to, from on this side, I'm going to divide by 3. So I have 3 times 3 to the power of y divided by 3. 3 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1. So I get 3 to the power of y minus 1. And then 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. So I get plus 1. Now from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So 2 squared times 2 to the power of x minus 2 this is equal to 2 to the power of 2 plus x minus 2. And these two, and 2 and negative 2 cancel out, so I just get 2 to the power of x. So 2 squared times 2 to the power of x minus 2 is 2 to the power of x. And I have 2 squared times negative 1, which is negative 2 squared. And this is equal to 3 to the power of y plus 3. So I'm just checking if we distributed, or, or sorry, if we factored out right, and it looks like we did. So now going back here, let me rewrite this. I have 2 squared times 2 to the power of x minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 3 times 1 plus 3 to the power of y minus 1. And notice how 2 squared, that's equal to 4, is an even number. And 2 to the power of x minus 2, well, 2 to the power of any number is even, and an even number minus 1 is going to be odd. So we have an even number times an odd number is equal to 3 is an odd number, times 3 to the power of any number is an odd number, plus an odd number plus 1 is an even number. So you have an even number times an odd number is equal to an odd number times an even number. Now, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the even odd numbers equal to each other and then the even numbers equal to each other. So this gives me two equations. I get 2 squared is equal to 1 plus 3 to the power of y minus 1. 
and I also have 2 to the power of x minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 3. So let's first start with this equation. This is equal, this is going to equal 4 is equal to 1 plus 3 to the power of y minus 1. And this means that 3 is equal to 3 to the power of y minus 1, meaning y is equal to 2. So the value of y is 2. Now for 2 to the power of x minus 2 minus 1 equals 3, I'm going to first start by adding 1 on both sides. So I get 2 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 4. And now 4 is the same thing as 2 squared, so I get 2 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 2 squared. And this means that <clears throat> x minus 2 is equal to 2. And if I add 2 on both sides, these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to 2 plus 2, which is 4. So my solution is x equals 4 and y is equal to 2.